Hey everyone, how's it going? Earth Quasar here, and you're back at it with me, doing the barn bargains. We're looking at the Hudson Dreg uh, pieces that I've found. I had to go out into the junkyard, and I did find the pieces that I needed for the Hudson. So, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, um, I was able to gather up these pieces and put them in the storage. And you know, if it wasn't for the storeroom, I don't know what I would do, right? Because it's been a lifesaver for me trying to find pieces for the cars, uh, whether it's this one or the Nissan. It's been um, quite challenging. I've spent the entire week, uh, every chance I get, uh, jumping into a junkyard and trying to find, um, trying to find a piece of this car. Um, the one item that I thought was going to be a problem was the rim for this side and actually it <laughs> I came across uh, one of the cars that I had um, that I had configured with those types of wheels on it so I was like hey I just bought the I just bought it out of the junkyard and bam I was able to get it taken care of um, I will say this I did not spend any more than I needed to on it uh, when I go in the junkyard and I buy those cars, I really look for a bargain, straight up. Um, I try not to spend any more money than I have to, and that's just the way that goes. All right, it looks like we are pretty much topped off with the rear end of the Hudson. Now, the one thing we did notice, oh, I did drain the oil. Did I drain the oil out of it? I think I did. Yeah, I just wanted to, because um, I did a... An inspection underneath of the motor and I saw all these parts that were in um, horrific shape and I'm like okay uh, some things I need to look for in the junkyard while I was looking for pieces for the Nissan so yeah I think I've got a frame I think I've got a oil pan um, I'm not sure about the crankshaft pulley that might be a piece that I have uh, missed but uh, I should have enough um, to do the rest of it. One thing I missed with the Mustang, which I don't think I did with this one yet, is let me just go ahead and get the framework done on it because I just want to make sure that's done. And I think it was, just as. I think I did do it. I just want to make sure it was done again. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Ah, so probably spent a little bit more money than I needed to on it. Uh, my interior pieces are all complete, I believe. Uh, let's see, car status. Uh, yeah, leaf springs, push pushing. Uh, yeah, so like, so like all the car pe the car parts themselves are in pretty good shape, but um, they'll still need to be taken off and repaired, definitely. Um, I don't see my interior pieces. I jumped right over them because I missed it on the Mustang altogether. Nope. Uh, yep. I'm gonna have to um, take care of all the stuff on the inside there as well. All right. So next up off off the uh, list here is to take care of this front end. All right. So what is bar bargains? You mean barn bar bargains? Try to say that three times fast. Um, I've got a couple pieces going on right now. So this one that you see in front of you, the Hudson, um, it is considered to be the classic. I found it in a barn. It has uh, a, a pretty excessive amount of miles on it, 331,000. Uh, but right now I've got a net profit of 16 grand wrapped up into it right now. So, and that's the prime objective is if I buy a barn, this is a barn car. I'm gonna buy it or restore it back to its original shape and then I'm going to either sell it or I'll keep it you know just because I think it's a cool car um, this one because it's 331,000 miles on it I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because that's a lot of miles <laughs> be quite honest with you it's not really uh, worth it to me to keep it so I'm probably going to end up selling it so I want to get the front end taken care of this thing today probably take the motor off I might do that as well um, and the object of restoring the car like this is to restore it back to its original shape um, using parts that you can repair. Now, 
those parts that you can't repair, like these bushings, right? So this rubber bushings, like what, 24%? Yeah. So those are going to go bye-bye, and we're just going to buy new bushings for it. So that's that's the way that's going to work. But if I can repair it, like if I could have prepared this cross member here, I would have. I would have. But because I can't repair it, I'm going to have. To, I had to find a new one. Or not a new one. I'm going to have to find one that I can repair. How's that? So that's what I had to do, uh, along with the Nissan parts, which I believe I'll be honest with you. Stand by. I may have all the parts necessary to put it on the track. So that's why right now I'm looking at just getting the front end fixed up on this. And then we're going to go over to the Nissan and see what kind of damage we can do with that. So thanks for joining me this afternoon in this beautiful garage I call Quasar's Customs. If you haven't noticed, my banner is right up there. <laughs> so yeah okay can I take that off yes all right um, I'm usually keeping as many of the pieces on there as possible let me see what I can repair here oh 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 oh, oh. let me go back here um, let me disassemble that real quick and tires tires I can't repair right so I'm going to have to replace them and I replace them with the same tire so I'm going to go total original uh, total back to the way it was okay so that rim was in not too horrible shape and the idea is to keep the cost down as much as possible while restoring them that's why I repair all the parts I'm trying to keep as you know Minimum as possible, cost-wise. Uh, so like the inner and outer tie rod ends, I can't repair those. Those are not repairable items. So I'm going to have to buy those. Ooh, I almost lost it on that one. And it becomes crucial... <laughs> becomes crucial... To repair these things properly because if you screw it up you have to uh, go out in a junkyard and find it and believe me I have I'm so tired of the junkyard um, all right so the cross member uh, what was the cross member it was a front suspension cross member um, okay wait did I grab that I did think I had that uh, no so like the discs, I'm going to have to repair the discs too. Let me see if I had Hudson. Um, I didn't put it in that. What about... Let's see here. Uh, search. Change warehouse. Uh, front cross member right there. Oh, I had a couple of them it looks like. Because I, I was looking for them and I for, kept forgetting what I had, right? So yeah, we got a 15% front cross member. I believe that's repairable. Yes. Oh, this is going to get tricky. Oh, nailed it. Okay. So we have that taken care of. The shock absorbers are complete. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm missing a piece. I don't think I can repair any of these items, right? I mean, they're decent shape so let me see if I can I'm pretty sure I can't yeah I can't repair any of that stuff right so in the inventory we're going to have to pick up uh, two shock absorbers two caps two springs because those are non repairable two inner tie rod ends two outer tie rod ends rubber bushings two sway links because I don't have those rubber the bearings I can't repair either nor can I do the wheel cap and I just realized I had two I had two does this have yep I have oh no I repaired I only need one I repaired both of them I believe and I only needed only need the one I think yep 
Okay, so I repaired a U-bolt that I shouldn't have, honestly. Um, oops, I'll leave it in there and use it for... I'll have to remember not to use it for my trash to track. Oh, how come I left you over here? Oh, and a front sway bar. The front sway bar is also one of those items that you can't repair. But that knuckle you can, so I forgot to grab that off there. So let's grab that. Okay. And then we're going to grab front sway bar. So let's go ahead and jump into our car parts, our suspension. Um, we're going to get two of those, uh, two of those, and two of those, because we can't get those otherwise. Um, I'm going to pull that all off because I was looking for, I was looking for rims for the, rims and tires for the, um, for the Nissan cap, front spring, got those, inner tie rod. I think I just bought those inner tie rod, outer tie rod too. Uh, rubber bushing, I believe I need. Uh, let's get eight for right now. I think I need 12, but I'm going to get eight. Uh, sway bar link to those, yep. Wheel bearing, two of those. Wheel cap, two of those. And the front sway bar, of course. All right, I should have all the pieces I need to put this bad boy back together and repaired. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. So before I get too crazy with this, I'm pretty sure eight bushings was enough. I didn't want to go, I didn't want to get too crazy with it because I didn't want to spend the money on it, to be honest with you. And I think I, yep, nope, 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 I didn't. That's good. That's good. I didn't spend extra money on that. Um, yeah, I do need 12 of because I do have an upper and a lower arm. I didn't think I was going to. For whatever reason, I don't know why. I've made a couple of mistakes in a past video. So yeah, I called this a Mercury. It's actually a Hudson. And the Lincoln that I saw in the junkyard was actually, well, the Cadillac I called in the junkyard was actually a Lincoln. So thanks, thank you, RPM Games, Ryan, for uh, correcting me on that. I feel like an idiot, to be quite honest with you. I don't understand. I don't know, maybe I was drinking too much beer that night <laughs> when I recorded. I, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I went back and went, geez, how did I, how did I miss that? You know, um, I think once I, you know, I get in, involved in this and I start looking at things a little differently from a gaming point of view, I'm thinking, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to disassemble or reassemble something and talking with you guys at the same time and I just lose track. <laughs> I just do. Um, the, the brakes, I forgot to repair the brakes. And this is one of the beautiful things. I, I know you've heard me talk about this before. I love this thing. La la la, la la la. I wish it did the drums too. If it did the drums too, that would be perfect. Like, it should be like something, like, I don't know. Should I have another a drum machine around here? It's like, this is another repair parts table. We'll have another drum machine around here or something go I love it get to repair these pieces and restore this car back to its natural beauty come on I think you've uh, cleaned up that rust way enough there we go there we go yeah Yeah, see, it repairs it back to 100%. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Can't have that. So let's go into the brakes. Let's grab ourselves. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, go back to brakes. Pads times two. Thank you very much. Um, again, pads I can't repair, so I'm going to have to buy a brand new four. 
All right, caliper and cylinder. Perfect. And I don't have the front tires done yet, so. And that uh, bushing. I need four more bushings, so. Let's jump over here. Let's get four more of you. Wanted to be cautious. Sometimes I'm a little over cautious because I don't want to spend extra money. Now, I have been supplementing my income a little bit. Um, if those of you that are watching my income, I do supplement it a little bit. When I go out and buy parts, uh, as you saw in the storage, I do have a lot of parts that I probably didn't need, right? But I come across them and they're like, ah, you know, I haven't. Ooh, I don't have an upper suspension arm. Okay, let me see if I have one. Damn. Okay. <sighs> see, just this is well, this is why. Okay. Um, do I have an upper suspension arm? Please let me have an upper suspension arm. <sighs> upper suspension arm B. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> Dang. Dang, dang, dang. I have been ruined by the upper suspension arm. Okay, so I can probably put the rest of this stuff on. Well, so there we go. I have a, I have to get an upper suspension arm. For the most part, I've got to get. Oh, and I need a brake cylinder. Yikes. Okay, so brake cylinder, I think I have. A brake and brake cylinder, I think I may have. So let me go look in here. Uh, brake cylinder, yes. Caliper. Oh, did I get both those in my inventory? Yeah. So let's go repair that. Ooh, that was scary. That was in a totally different spot altogether. Okay, so those got repaired. So that's why I grabbed some of those parts, because they're common, right? They're very common parts. And yeah. All right, can't put the wheel on, because I've got to put that upper suspension on. Oh my god. All right, but uh, what I can do is, um, let me see here. Where's the tire? I need a 180, 80, it's a slick tire, 180, 80, 16. So a slick tire. Go ahead and pick up two of those tires. I need a slick tire, two. These are 16s, uh, 180, oh, 180, I hope that's not right, 180, what? 180, 80. All right, so I can't put this back to original, unfortunately, because I don't have the 80. Yes, I have unrealistic tire sizes. 180, 80, 16, okay. Well, I'm going to have to go uh, with the closest to it. 16. We'll go with the uh, 185 is the profile. We're going to go 175 with an 80. All right. It just makes the tire just a little bit narrower. That's all. Won't be a big deal for this, so that's unfortunate that I can't build it completely back to stock like that. I'm a little bummed. Yeah. Oh well. It's all good. It's all part of the game, I guess. I, I you know, you know. And, and the funny thing is, though, if you were actually restoring a Hudson and they come across something like that, you would have to, you know, you would honestly have to find something that was nearly compatible and go with it which is exactly what we've had to do here all right I'm, I can't put the one tire on so we will do that
All right, and for this side, let me um, get clear this list out. There we go. Capture this real quick. I need upper suspension. Ooh, I need a servo. Yikes. No, I didn't realize oh, I need a battery. I think I got a battery. Radiator. I may not have a radiator. Uh, coil packs. I think I... I don't know if I can replace those. I'll, I'll deal with it later. All right. Uh, all right. So I've got that taken care of as much as I can. Uh, let's go back into my Hudson Drag. And let's see. That's got to go in there. Both the bushings need to go in there. Um, uh, wheel hub three, I think, needs to go in there. And the leaf spring, well, I, I totally screwed up on that. So we'll put that in the suspension. Put that in the suspension. The rest of the stuff I will sell. I mean, I could keep it for the next junk find, but I always, <laughs> I actually have fun uh, building this thing completely out of junk. So I think that's what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just kill off all these pieces. I'm gonna sell them all. There we go. Gotta make some money back on this stuff. Anyway, I've gotta keep an eye on the ball. All right, so my shopping list. Got to get that upper suspension arm. So that's preventing me from completing the suspension on the Hudson for right now. All right, for the Nissan, let's see what we have here. Um, I have put together some pieces in here, uh, and I did call it the trash to track. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all these pieces in with me. Um, I found a lot of stuff for it um it took me forever to be quite honest with you um let's see what do i have here uh lower coils cover yep i have that um i do have let's see i do have one intake manifold i got real lucky on this this and the the throttle um, I found that's on one side the throttle on another side look at this it was just made for each other um, ooh I don't know if I have a starter um, ABS pump yes I did find that I had it on my list that's how I put that stuff all in that um, yeah, and I have to come. I did not know this was. I, I happen to come across this thing. I've got two of them. I'll put the thirty-five percent in there. Um, let's see here. I thought I had another man. Sauced manual was manifold, I should say. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, thirty-four percent. We're putting that bad boy on. I need all the horsepower I can get out of this thing. The turbo, I got a 25 and an 18. Definitely going with the 25. Okay. Uh, wow. I think, oh my gosh. Um, crankshaft pulley. No. Oh. Okay, hang on. I swear I had one somewhere. Um. Engines, crankshaft pulley, crankshaft. But, there we go. Oh, I need that. I need that bearing cap too. Uh, I remember needing one. I happened to find it. I had it on my list of things to get. So yeah, it's been a very productive week for me. Thank goodness. I was just like, uh, uh, do I have? Yes, I do have that. Uh, fan. I got lucky with that one. 
I happened to buy it just because I was like, oh, okay, I'll get it just for the engines, and um, I needed it for this. Um, starter. Do I have a starter? I don't... <sighs> okay, that might be tricky. Tell me I've got a starter someplace. Okay, it's not in engines. Maybe I have it in electronics? Starter? Oh, yes. Yes. I, again, I said I just started picking up pieces right and left because I was getting tired of walking through the junkyard and not really having, uh, not leaving with anything. Um, I do have a fuel tank. Boys and girls, this is, I think this is going track. Uh, this might go tracking. Now, the only things I do have that are in bad shape are my tires and a rim. Um, I wanted everything. Yeah, I got, look at that nice fuel tank. <laughs> uh, um, wait a minute, where's the... Do I have a... Oh, it goes there. Okay, fuel pump. Yes, 19%. Um... Okay, I'm actually a little excited. I think I've got this thing. Uh, okay, let me see if I'm missing anything. I, f I have a feeling. Okay, so my... Okay, so that is my... This is my... My Achilles heel right here. I've got two bad tires. I've got a bad rubber bushing. Oh, wait a minute. Leather seats are bad. Bushing, burn cap. Oh, I forgot to do that stuff. All pan, front exhaust section. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Front exhaust section. I thought I put that in. No, I did not. <laughs> All right. So, I know I've got one in here. There we go. Bearing. Now I can, oh no, oh no, why can't I put, why, okay, wait a minute, why can't I put my, oh no, I got another one back here, oh, I missed it, oh, I don't have it, okay, that is saddening me right to the core right now, um, That so saddens me. Um, damn. Okay. I need an engine. <laughs> I need an engine. All right. So I'm not going to take it out of the, the Hudson. So let's go do a quick junkyard run real quick. See what we can find. All right. Considering how it's very common, I'm just going to look for a vehicle. And what I'm going to do is look for a vehicle that has, uh, which may have an engine in it, um, and that it is, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that. And I can get it for a fair price. That's the main thing, because all I'm looking for is a crankshaft bearing. Uh, we got this Ford. That thing almost looks like it's uh, almost together. Kind of hard to tell, though. What's the price tag on this bad boy? Twelve grand, and it's a it's a valued at eleven. So yeah, I'm already getting raped on that one. So we're not going to do that. Um, we're moving on. I'm not going to go searching for stuff. What do we have over here? What is this? Oh, jeez. This is one of these rear engine bad boys. Um, oof, that engine looks like it's in super sad shape. It probably doesn't have... <laughs> clutch and clutch cover. Um, probably does not have what I'm looking for. What's the price tag on this bad boy? 25 and it's valued at 22 so that's way overpriced uh, got ourselves uh, stuck here because I can't get to the 
bone shaker. Bone shaker doesn't have a. So this is the problem with some of this stuff. I can't move against the bone shaker. I think I may have to just say screwed at this point. Um, let's see here. Yeah, not a whole lot left on this bad boy. Yeah, and the upper suspension arm. Yeah, um, I can't use that either. So I could have used that for the, the Hudson. <sighs> okay, uh, what's this back here? Okay. Okay. Um, most of that engine is together, and I think... We may give it a shot. Let me see if my suspension is in decent shape. Let me see if I can get an upper suspension arm out of this. Yes, I can get an upper suspension arm. Um, yeah. So, okay. Now, what's the price tag on this bad boy? All right. So, I can buy it low, and I can sell it after I get the parts off it. Um, that's a contender. Let me see what else is over here. Mustang. Okay. Again, has a lot of the engine pieces to it. Uh, that's pretty well shot over there. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Okay, um, what was the price tag on that, just in case? 12. So yeah, it was overpriced anyway. <laughs> it's an overpriced piece of junk. Uh, all right. What about you, my friend? What do you have? It's a four-cylinder. I have a less, uh, have less of an option. 17-inch uh, wheels. Lancer. Um, yeah. Oh, the Impala, I think. Okay, so I've got my choice of the Impala or the Okay. Oh, it's got the six cylinder engine in it. So okay, so I think I'm gonna go buy this. raid looking El Camino here and I'm going to strip it for parts. That's exactly what I'm going to do. It is low. I'm, not, I'm going to lose a little bit of money on it, but uh, um, oh well. <laughs> I mean, it's just the, the name of the game. So let's head back there. Alright. Uh, my Merc is I got a tire down, so we're going to the Nissan outside. Swap it with the Bolt Atlanta. Now, let's see here. What I want is... I want a couple of things. So... Side. That side was good. Okay, so I could use either side on that. That's good. Um, okay, so please, please, please have at least one. Oh, man. It doesn't even look like it has one. Nope. Not a single one. Jeez. Okay. So that kind of bites. Let me go ahead and yank the wheel off this. Oh, 
bought this car just to get this piece right here. Yep, that's all I wanted. I know I could probably use a lot of other pieces on here, but at this point, I really don't care to deal with it right now. And I'm really looking, to, I'm looking to take a crankshaft bearing off of that stupid thing. But no, I can't do that. All right. So you, I'm going to sell. I still made $593 off it. Eh, not too bad. So I got the one piece I needed. I need to sell off the bolt tire. We sell off the bushings. Um, all right, the exhaust. I don't need the exhaust for this. I do have the fuel rail on. I have the exhaust manifold on. I have the turbocharger on. Um, I don't need the door. I think the door is out. Let me see. Like I said, I think door is oh I don't know let's see door in good shape yep 16% hey hey look at that better better door all right so we have a better door on there so we'll get rid of that um, the upper suspension arm let's just go ahead and take care of that right now while we're thinking about it oh no 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 this one there we go Okay, because the Hudson can get that front end done. There we go, and get it set down on all four of its feet. So I spent money on a car to get what I was looking for. And then I sold it for a little bit of a profit. So there you go. That's how you make money. <laughs> um, is that all I need for the front end? I think. All right, we'll go ahead and set that on the ground right now. She is finally Finally on all four feet. All right, now as for you, I need a crankshaft bearing. God, is, what, is that the only thing I am missing? Damn. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to make another attempt out to the junkyard real quick and we'll see what we can find. Be right back. Hey, hey, all right, after a couple of trips to the junkyard, um, I didn't want to bore you guys with it, to be quite honest with you. Uh, let's put this bad boy back up in the air. I found a crankshaft bearing cap. <laughs> um, it was on the second try when I found it, and I just didn't want to bore you guys with the whole thing, so I just cut that whole thing piece out. Um, I am so happy I found that. I was like, it's only 15%, <clears throat> but I didn't care. I really didn't care. What is going on now? What is the deal? Don't tell me I need another one. What? What am I missing here? What am I, what am I missing? I'm missing a piston. No. Got all those. No bearing cap there. Bearing cap piston. Bearing cap piston. Bearing cap piston. Bearing cap piston. What is Oh, rod cap. I'm missing a rod cap. Okay. All right. I do think I have one of those. Oh, jeez. Thank goodness. 
Uh, engines and exhaust, rod cap. There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Kind of hard to see up in there. My goodness, we are so close, so super close. Man, this, this is tough. This is a tough call here. Now I got the oil pan. Yes! All right. Um. Oh my goodness. I think we got it, boys and girls. I think we got it. Okay. Um. What I need to put in here? I need to put brake fluid in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like super excited. Um, I seriously, I really wanted to do this to be a true, um, a true junkyard, you know, trash to track car. So I was, you know, I could have taken it out of the mer out of the Hudson over there. I really could have, um, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin it. I was so close. And I, I feel like I got so lucky out in the junkyard finding that, that cap, so, um, yeah. Come on, fill up a little bit more. Uh, I think we have everything. Oh, we need to put the engine cover on. Ooh, isn't that sweet looking? Um, I don't have a front license plate. I don't have any license plates to be quite honest with you, so let's see where we stand on this. Uh, not a whole lot. Everything is pretty much in orange. Uh, red. What I have is the sport tires. Um, the tires are in bad shape. The interior is in bad shape. I got a couple of bushings that are in question. Small rubber bushing. Got a couple of bushings in question? bushings would those be? Um, don't know. All right, let's take a look around. I think I've gotten... I've taken just about everything apart to figure out. Oh, there's a small rubber bushing there. My front tires are horrible. And that rim is horrible. Okay, so I've got that rubber bushing back there. Where is my other rubber bushing? I'm looking here. It's up front somewhere. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm not seeing it. I'm actually not. I'm not. I'm actually not seeing it. So I will see if I have another bushing. Grab a. That's a small rubber bushing. I don't think I have a small rubber bushing. Ah. So my hopes and dreams here. I wanted to have everything above fifteen percent. But. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, get back over here. Oh, it says rubber bushing, so... Okay, we'll put that rubber bushing in. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm pretty close. Uh, wheels and tires are in bad shape, of course. Um, I don't have plates on it, of course. But I'm going to take her, and I'm going to move her into... 
the test path and see if we can get uh, get this thing aligned. Oh yeah, she's in bad shape. Okay. Headlights, I don't think I care too much about, but we're going to go ahead and set them up a little bit just in case we have to do some night racing. Okay. These things are so bad off. Okay, so that's done. Now, just for giggles, I'm going to take her over to the dyno and see just how horrible we are. Uh, no engine oil. Oh, yes. Let's take the engine cover off. <clears throat> this thing looks so horrible. <laughs> the whole thing needs to be overhauled. I don't know what I'm going to do with this car afterwards. Um, that'll be the next thing. What do I do with it? Okay, let's just see how... Horrible this is. Factory power is 309. Five, not as horrible as I thought it would be, um, considering what we have in it. But um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. All right, let's um, go ahead and send her back out to garage, and we are going to take her to the test track. It is time to check it out. Uh, we want to go to the racetrack. And we're taking the skyline. Alright, we're doing the time trials. This thing is in such bad shape. Can't even get it out of third gear. <laughs> Jeez. 82, 85. This is this is embarrassing. But it's all trash. And I don't even think the tires are gonna care. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. I was gonna say I don't think the tires are even a bother on this because it's going so slow, but I just, uh, I just got proved wrong. Already a minute four into it. Crash, crash really took me out. Oh, there's five gears. Ah, oh, totally slowed me down. All right, 208, 209. So now if I just pick up the pace a little bit and be a little more careful on the curves, 
My front tires are in horrible shape and my rear rim is in bad shape too, so. So the Japanese police Nissan Skyline is on the track. I'm trying to get uh, a less than, I'm trying to get less than a two minute track time it might be it might be tough on this with it being as horrible as it is a hundred of horsepower less than what it came with originally that psychedelic paint job I was actually trying to find I was trying to find another uh, Tokyo police car just to get the wheels off of it and I have not been able to find one in the junkyard um, I probably could have found one in the salvage yard but I felt like I was I'm staying true to the junkyard thing so um, I think it's, it's it's actually kind of paid off for me right here I'm pretty happy with the way this car is I'm shocked That's lap time 209, and that's when I wrecked too, so. Oh, look at that. If I can get it, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go one more lap around. Let's see if I can squeeze. Let me see if I can squeeze another half a second or so off of this track. Maybe, maybe I can. Let's see if I can get it under two minutes. How well I did on that corner to Oh man. I don't know. Man, I need like more than a half a second. If I can get a full second, that would be great. love it I'd love to have this thing first build under two minutes that would be awesome minute 30 come on baby Oh, come on, come on. Downshift for me, downshift for me. There we go. Oh, minute 58. How about that? Oh, my goodness, though. There you have it. This piece of junk is at it. All right. There we have it. Let's head back to the shop, shall we? All right. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Nissan Skyline. Um, yeah, super crazy. Got it under two minutes. That is awesome. All right, guys, thanks for hanging with me. Um, I guess part of this series right now is, okay, what do I do with it now? Okay, I've, I've taken it. I've tested it. I've, I've got it under two minutes. Should I restore it back to its natural beauty and go buy all new parts for it? Or should I just sell it outright the way it is? And let's see, how much money would I make out of this thing anyway? Um, oh, well, I got a $27,000 profit. I'd sell it for thirty-five. So there you have it. Um, let me know what you think we, we should be doing with this poor little Nissan here. Um, 
Um, I'm actually pretty tickled with it, to be quite honest with you. So uh, I may just keep it and throw it in the garage and just as a, uh, you know, my very first track car that I threw together is all junk. And it is from the junkyard, all junk. I have not put anything on here that I have not gotten from the junkyard. Everything is from the junkyard. So, all right, guys, thanks for hanging with me. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. Um, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and see what we get ourselves into next week. Until then, Squares Quasar is saying good night, everyone. I am out.